let's check out the fifth grade map to see how the park will be assessing our students. Let's click on fifth grade and go to the computer-based practice tab. Once it loads up, we're going to click Start Test Now, which is just a simple button. Be sure to read all the directions before we take the test. Now this will show 16 questions for the mathematics section, which will display the different technology skills that are needed to take this assessment. Let's start. Up top here, let's remind of what we know already. We have the back and forward buttons, review, flag, and then we have our cursors. We can be a pointer, a ruler, a protractor, a note section, and also the answer eliminator. For question one, it is a simple question where we would just type an answer into the box and we would move on. Now, as we see, for question two, the direction state select the two correct answers. So on this question, we are going to select two answers. We must be careful to read the directions because we can actually select up to five answers if we wanted to. But let's make sure we read the directions. Question three is a drop-down menu where each drop-down gives us a selection of three answers. Select from the drop-down menus to correctly complete each comparison. 4.408 is 4 and 48 thousandths. Is greater than. And we would do the same thing for the question over here. Let's click next. In question four, it gives us a box that they have already typed in already. Diana works at a clothing store. She sold one-fifth of the total number of green shirts on Monday and three-twelfths of the total number of green shirts on Tuesday. What fraction of green shirts did Diana sell on Monday and Tuesday? So, let's look at this since it's asking us a couple questions. First, fraction of green shirts sold on Monday and Tuesday? After we find our answer by solving the equation, we are going to click in the box, and if it comes out to a whole number, that's great. We can just enter it in. However, if it comes out to a fraction, please remember what we've gone over already. We will click on the fraction button. The fraction button will then give us a fraction to easily type in. And for example, we can type in, say, 5 let's just say 20 thirds, which is not the answer, but just in case it was, that's how we type in the fraction. What fraction of green shirts did Diana not sell on Monday and Tuesday? Enter your answers in the space provided. Enter only the answers. So on this particular question, it does not want us to show the work at all. So once again, for fraction of green shirt not sold Monday and Tuesday, we'll click down here and then click right on our fraction. If we want to undo what we've done, click on the undo button. If we want to erase everything, let's just clear all and we can start back from the beginning. So Park allows us to easily be able to enter in our answers as long as we read the directions and we learn the different things that we can use within inside the box. I will show you the remaining things such as the plus sign, minus sign, in future problems. Now, on this, let's make sure for question 5 we see that there are two parts. So there are two questions. Now, part A, after we read about butch, each meatloaf was made with the same amount of ground beef. Which of these is closest to the amount of ground beef in each meatloaf? As you're working out the problem, you may want to eliminate some answers that you know are definitely not correct. So what you would do is click up top to the answer eliminator, 
and just cross off the answers that you know it's definitely not. To select your answer, make sure you go back to the pointer. After you figure it out, you can just click on the answer and you'll be able to submit it. So part B, if we answer eliminate some answers, but then we realize that, oh, it may be B after all. We can easily unselect answer B and it will reappear. Now with these multiple choice questions and they're designated by these circles, we know that we can only select one answer. If we select B and then go to D, it will only let us select one answer. The most important thing is to read the directions. Let's check out question number six. What fraction completes the equation using a like denominator when adding one thirds plus three sixths? Drag and drop each correct number into the appropriate box. So for this, all I'm gonna do is drag over two sixths by just dragging it over. If I felt two was not the answer, I must first drag it back into the gray box and drag my answer back. If I'm not sure about this and I wanna review this at a later time, I will flag it because I know I'm having a little difficulty. So let me go back to this question. Inside here, when we're using different math symbols, this question wants us to explain our answers and show our work. To figure out this problem, I use the, I could say I use the addition sign. So let's say I used the equation two plus three equals Five, and then I solve the fraction delete that out three fourths minus one fourth Click on it again so I get my big cursor back. See how when I went down here, I had a little one. When I click over, I have a bigger one. Equals, and it gives me the box already because I put the equal sign. I even tap the equals on my keyboard. So 3 fourths minus 1 fourth equals 2 fourths. Click on the fraction. 2 fourths. Right there. And I can even show if I had to let the question go down to one answer. Now, this is not the correct answer for the problem that we are completing, but this is just to show you the technology skills that you need and you will have when you are taking your health assessment. Same thing right over here, except for we have a part A and a part B where we would explain our answers. So read the directions carefully because they will tell us exactly what we are looking for. Now, if we are having issues with converting, we can always click on the exhibits folder on the right and it will give us a formula chart for some things if it pertains to the question that we are answering. So we have miles converted, uh, weight converted, and also cups and pints all converted right here. Number nine, same type of question, where we can easily practice how to explain our answer. Multiple choice, remember we can use the answer eliminator. If we think that answer is the correct answer, we can easily deselect, go back to the pointer, and click on it. Multiple choice again. Drag and drop each number into the correct box. So very easily, we're just dragging and dropping. Drag and drop all the numbers. And for this one, we can actually drag to another box at the same time. Oh, nope, we can't. We always have to drag back to the home box 
and then drag it back over. Part B, what do you think? How many answers can we select here? Look at the squares and read the direction. Yep, we can select three answers. It tells us right away. Which numbers show 1034.17? Round it correctly to different place values. And we can select our different answers. Question 13, we explain our answers again. The most important thing on the park is to read the directions. The directions will help us with the technology skills where it will tell us what exactly we need to type about. Shannon is building a rectangular garden that is 18 feet wide and 27 feet long. Gives us a little statement right here where we can actually use our exhibits folder. And we see for a right rectangular prism, we may use them. Pop it in. Write an equation that represents the area of a Shannon's garden. In your equation, let G represent the area of Shannon's garden. Then solve your equation. So what we can do easily is G equals 18, get the multiplication sign, times 27. Then we are going to solve the equation. Part B will ask us another question. And make sure you read through and scroll all the way down because there's also a part C on this question. And we're going to use our expression from part B. So some questions do build upon each other. Even though this is question 14, we have three parts to look for. Next. Right over here, we have a question where we'll explain our answer. And finally, question 16 is the same exact thing. We will explain our answer. So as you see, it is important to gather your thoughts and type how we are going to explain and show our answer and show our work while we are taking the park assessment. With these skills that we have learned through the technology, we can easily use the different symbols. Now, when you're done, You'll click next and you'll have this option to review answers or submit final answers. Always, always review your answers before you submit them. As you review, you will be able to see which questions were not answered, which questions were answered, and oh, remember I flagged the question so I can easily see what question I want to go back to. Let me click view. And, hmm, am I sure about this? Yeah, I am. So, let me unclick flag, and I deactivated it. Now let me click review, and it will let me know that I have no questions for review. If I am completed and I have answered all these questions, I can click end section, and then finally submit my final answer. Those are the technology skills you will need to have for the math section. Everybody will do great because these skills you will have and you have learned from this practice area. Thank you.